If looks could kill, you'd certainly be a goner after gazing on this handsome but deadly tree. Don't be drawn in by its glistening leaves and apple-like fruit. If you don't avoid this one like the plague, you'll certainly end up tormented by blisters or worse. In 2011, it was even crowned Guinness World Records' most dangerous tree. This is the Manchineel tree. Hi, I'm Sasha the Amazon, and you're watching Floralogic. Today we're talking about Hippomanny mancinella, otherwise known as Manchineel tree, or the beach apple. This tree is so toxic that most have signs hung around them warning passersby of their dangers. Objectively speaking, Manchineel is a real looker as far as trees go. It can grow up to 12 meters tall, which for those of you who don't use the metric system, is about four stories. It's adorned with a round crown and has shiny, bright green, delicately pointed leaves. Its preference for coastal beaches and salty mangrove swamps means you'll likely see it in the most breathtaking locales. And it'll take your breath away permanently if you're foolish enough to eat it, because you'll be dead. The Manchineel tree is a member of Euphorbiaceae, otherwise known as the Spurge family. The Spurge gang is known for having some seriously violent and deadly members. Don't believe me? Check out our sandbox tree video to see all the ways that Spurge is just itching to kill you. Manchineel is native everywhere from Southern North America to Northern South America. Due to the apple-like appearance of its fruit and leaves, its name comes from the Spanish word manzanilla, meaning little apple. If you decide to take a bite, however, you'll be worse off than Snow White. There's a reason why the modern Spanish word for this tree is manzanilla de la muerte, or little apple of death. Okay, I've bigged up the lethal nature of this tree enough. It's time to get down to the dirty details. Just how will the manzanilla tree end your life? For starters, every inch of this tree is oozing with milky, poisonous sap. The fruit, leaves, and bark. You shouldn't even risk touching the bark since there's a good chance you'll regret it. The sap causes a medical condition called contact dermatitis. Blistering, burns, and irritation on contact with skin, mucous membranes, and eyes. It's so utterly dripping with poison that you shouldn't even stand under one when it rains. Its sap contains a host of skin irritants, but the big baddie is called forbal an organic compound that dissolves in water. A single drop of rain mixed with this sap is enough to cause skin burns, which is why you want to steer clear of these trees when it's coming down. Everything about this lethal tree might make you want to scream, burn it with fire! But just know that if you did that, the smoke coming off of the burning wood would make you temporarily blind. That is how dangerous this tree is. Let's say you're innocently walking along the beach and you didn't know just how toxic this tree is. You see a beautiful tree with cute little yellowish, reddish, apple-like fruit. You smell one, and it smells sweet. You take a bite. The first thing you'll notice is that it is sweet. And that is where the pleasurable experience of eating a manchineel fruit ends. The very next thing you'll notice is a strange peppery feeling. Then, the burning begins. Your throat starts to close up as it swells. Expect to be writhing in pain for the next eight hours or so, with the swelling in your neck and throat lasting longer than that. Though there haven't been any modern reports of fatalities associated with eating the little apple of death, the sap was used by indigenous Floridians and Caribbeans as poison for their arrows. In 1521, Spanish colonizer Ponce de Leon returned to settle a place he had named Florida eight years before. He had barely made it out alive that time after the Calusa people of the area ambushed the invader. He was so convinced, however, that there was gold and riches, and also apparently a magical river of youth, that he just couldn't stay away. What welcomed him the second time was a manchineel laced arrow to the thigh. Ow! He managed to retreat once again, but this time he had killer poison in his blood. Needless to say, the manchineel made good on its deathly promise. There is one creature, however, who is completely immune to the manchineel's poisons. The Galapagos giant tortoise and a couple species of iguana seem to be the only creatures that are totally unbothered by the manchineel's deadly sap. These iguanas are excellent climbers and are known to live among the branches and gobble the fruits of the manchineel tree. Black spiny-tailed iguanas are also dubbed the world's fastest lizard. I guess eating the fruit of the world's most dangerous tree must give you some kind of superpowers. I, for one, not willing to find out. So what should we talk about next? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. Bye. Mansion Neal Tree, Mansion Neal
tree. Don't eat me, the man's an ill tree. Don't touch it, don't eat it, don't look at it, don't smell it, don't sniff it, don't lick it. <laughs> Bye.